the Lord. Good night, greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again to be here tonight, beloved and friends, to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness, regardless of our situation in the world. As it always says, beloved and friends, Jesus says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you, even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty, my friends, that we have an assurance that God promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, he says, Lo, I am with you always. He says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee, and no plague shall come at it. Really. Let's give the Lord a big hand to you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome those of you listening to me from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office. From church or right here, God bless you richly. I release a blessing upon your life tonight. I release a blessing upon your life physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, in every area of life. My prayer tonight that God will bless you and prosper, and no weapon that form against you shall prosper. I build a hedge around your life tonight, and I cover you under the precious blood of Jesus. I build a hedge around your finances. I build a hedge around your family. I build a hedge around your home. I build a hedge around your business. I build a hedge around your job and I release a blessing upon your life and I pray tonight uh, that God will break every chain, every buyer, every fetter, every evil and every walk of darkness. Uh. Every, every evil, every generational curse uh, and blights I break tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, every spirit of witchcraft uh, and obia and demonic forces and evil that come against your life tonight, uh, I destroy under the precious blood. For the blood of Jesus is so efficacious uh, and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent uh, that destroys every yoke uh, and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every walk of darkness. Uh, and to Tonight, my friends, Jesus says, whom the Son set free is free indeed. And you are free tonight. Give a lot of big hands tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. My friends, the thief commit, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Christ comes that we might have life, and life more abundantly. Are you having abundant life tonight? Are you walking in true peace and joy and happiness amidst what's happening in our world? We are living in a very, very sick world, my friends and beloved. Only a few days ago, a key... A key player in the United States uh, asked me a very important question. He says, man of God, I know, I know your prophet uh, and many of your prophecies has been fulfilled. Uh, and I want to ask you a question. How do you see the world in the next 12 months? That's one year from now. Well, that's a very ticklish question. So I had to go and fast. I had to pray about it. Uh, and I gave him an answer. And I will tell you what I say tonight. Uh, my friends, uh, we are living in a very, very sick world. This world is so sick. Uh, and mankind is so corrupt. Uh, there is no love. And there is no, no compassion for human beings. Mankind just want to grab and grab and grab and never content. Uh, that's the spirit of the Antichrist. Now, what will happen in next year from now? We all know what is happening, my friends. We know the situation with Europe. Europe is depending on Russia. Russia to supply them with oil and gas. And the winter is coming. But we know Nord Stream 1, the pipeline has been closed down. And there is a strategy. Have you ever heard of BRICS? BRICS BRICS? That's a, a, a few nations formed together. And who is, the, who is in BRICS today? We have Brazil is in BRICS. We have China, Russia. India and South Africa and many other small countries are in BRICS. Now, what, why is BRICS formed? Right now, BRICS is having military exercises with about 13 countries with military exercises. What is BRICS planning to do? What is BRICS power tonight? BRICS power with, uh, with, uh, with Russia and China and India together, they have more nuclear weapons uh, than they do. Now, can they really be so sick in their mind to try to destroy it too? But they can. Because if they cut down the oil and gas, they will actually destroy it too. 
because with all the sanctions America has placed on, on Putin, which I call God, and Russia, right? Russia has raked in about $43 billion already. This year, for, for, for oil and gas, they're getting more. Sanctions are not affecting them. So what is happening? I had a prophecy two years ago when I, when I prophesied, and it says uh, America, uh, Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran will, affect, will attack America. I hope America is prepared for what is coming. You see, my friends and beloved, we cannot avoid these things that is happening in the world. Why? Because we live in a sick world controlled by Satan called the devil, Lucifer himself. And the system of this world is corrupt, confused, and, and they're destroying themselves. The only way Antichrist will be able to rule the world, he has to bring the world to a collapsed state where he can take control. And that will happen very soon. Let's say within 15, 15 months from now. So we have to prepare for the seven years of tribulation period. Mankind will destroy themselves. Right now we have weapons of mass destruction can destroy this world 18 times over. What will happen with Taiwan and China? What, uh, what is happening right now with, uh, after six months uh, with, uh, with Russia and Ukraine? It is now intensifying. These things will get hotter and hotter. The world will not only destroy with climate change and things that are happening with like, uh, like volcano and earthquake and thunderstorm and uh, tsunami and uh, hurricane and so on. And these things, not only these things will destroy the world, mankind himself will play a major role with the, with the military weapons they have. With all, with all these uh, um, 6,200 and something, 79, I think uh, Russia has combined with, with, with nuclear weapons and more than America today. My friends, mankind is corrupt. Uh, and as I always say, with all these nuclear weapons and uh, with all this military uh, power they have, uh, we, we, we're pouring trillions and trillions of dollars uh, into all of these things. Uh, and yet today in our world, over to third of the world population, is living on less than two US dollars. Can you imagine that? And I say this, uh, uh, very soon, uh, over one billion people will plunge into below poverty line. That means starvation. And uh, 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 next uh, 250, uh, next 250 people, a uh, million people will plunge into starvation in within a year from now also. I'm not a prophet uh, uh, of doom and gloom, uh, but what I'm telling you, my friends and beloved, these things are coming to pass because also the book of Revelation has to come to life. Hallelujah. The Antichrist spirit is in the world. And very soon, these most of these leaders, uh, they don't even know what they're doing. They're setting the stage for the Antichrist uh, to take control and rule. Hallelujah. So anyway, that's, that's my answer today. And I tell you, my friends, uh, we must pray. And tonight, uh, I will not be preaching. Again, I'll be praying again tonight uh, because we need prayer and the world need prayers. Uh, all of us need prayers. Uh, and prayers uh, are never too much. Uh, I did mention that during this week, uh, I'll be praying uh, and praying that God will help us all. The spiritual warfare prayer against evil is very important uh, and we need God's presence. Uh, God's presence will be able to protect us uh, and protect our home and we need to cover our lives and our homes uh, and our family under the blood of Jesus. Uh, and let us pray tonight. Uh, let us pray tonight my friends and beloved. Let's pray and ask God to help us. Uh, we bless uh, your holy name tonight, Lord, because you are the God of the impossible. Isn't that so? You are able to do all things tonight, uh, and we trust in you because you can do anything. You can do anything. You are a God, uh, a God with no limitations. You do hear that? Uh, together with everyone listening tonight, uh, we pray and bring before you every challenge and difficulty we face tonight. Uh, and Lord, we bring before for you everything that is troubling us tonight everything that is worrying us tonight oh father we have faith and we believe that there is absolutely nothing for us to fear 
with you no other side tonight my friends and beloved because of this we will be strong and courageous even in hard times we will not be ter terrified we will not be discouraged because you are our rock tonight dear God our shield our strength yes Lord our hope tonight your hope tonight we place our faith in you and we believe that you will see us through our valley experience tonight oh father God we trust in your ability and not on our own not our own ability teach us to see the challenges the difficulties in our world in our lives uh, through the lens of faith tonight even as we go through our valley experiences, help us to grow and mature as Christians tonight. Dear Father, help us to develop our faith. And even if our emotions try and get the best of us tonight, we will remain steadfast, knowing that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. And Lord, help us uh, to focus uh, on you and on your, on your power instead of the problems uh, that we face in our lives and in the world. Give us strength uh, to focus on you tonight, uh, even in hard circumstances. Uh, oh, Father, tonight, uh, may the Holy Spirit uh, guide us carefully and read, uh, trust, and be obedient uh, to your word. Uh, oh, Father, tonight, uh, your word tells us uh, not to be angry anxious and not to, to be in be trouble in our hearts meaning that we do not need to fatigue to figure everything out or you already know the best plan for us our lives and the world we ask that you move in our lives oh lord jesus show us your supernatural power oh god teach us how to walk by faith and pray fervently because your word says the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous avails much, avails much tonight and we choose to have faith in your ability to break through every obstacle we face tonight, oh Father, in agreement with everyone listening to this prayer, we declare Dr. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6 tells us what does it say? Be strong and courageous and do not fear. Do not fear or be in dread for, for of them for, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you as I always say every day. You, you Lord, hallelujah, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 14 verse 22, what it says, it says immediately, immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side to the other side and while he dismissed the crowds while he dismissed the crowds and after he had dismissed the crowds my friends he went up on the mountain by himself to, to pray he went to pray Jesus when evening came when evening came he was there alone he was there alone but the boat was by the time was a long way from land from the land beaten by by the waves beaten by the waves for the wind was against them oh father and then the fourth watcher of the night he came to them he came to them walking on the sea he came to them walking on the sea but when the disciples saw him walking on the sea they they were terrified they were terrified and afraid and said it is a ghost and they cried out in fear they cried out in fear but but my friends and beloved immediately Jesus spoke to them saying he spoke to them saying take home take home it is I do not be afraid do not be afraid he says because I go and, and, and any further I would like to stop and highlight tonight the sequence of events Events. Here, my friends, let me explain something. Verse 24 tells us uh, the storm. The storm, be, 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 the storm began because the Bible says, for the wind was against them. Hallelujah. Verse 26 says, when the disciples see Jesus, when they saw Jesus, note their reactions. Note their reactions. The Bible says they were terrified. They were terrified and they cried out in fear. They cried out in fear. Verse 27 tells us, Jesus responds saying, take heart. 
Take heart, it is I. Take heart, it is I. And do not faint, do not be afraid. Now, perhaps, my friends, you never experienced this, but certainly have forced stormy situations in your life. And I cannot admit, I felt terrified many times. Just like the disciples, my friends, at the sight of a storm, at the first sign of something that I'm unfamiliar with or uncertain about, my friends and beloved, I have been attacked by the spirit of fear, by the spirit of fear, just like the disciples here. My friends, but since tonight, let us understand, I believe, the words that Jesus spoke to the disciples many years ago. What did he say? Are still as relevant today, my friends, as they were back then. Hallelujah. My friends, we need, we need to take heart tonight. Take heart to be bold and to have courage. Have courage. We need not be afraid. Not afraid. What will happen? The very thing, the very thing that the disciples were afraid of, my friends, the very thing, the very thing that filled them with fear, with fear, my friends, what they, was, was their savior, their savior, the Bible says, when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and says, it is a ghost, it is a ghost. And they cried out, they cried out in fear, they cried out in fear and they were afraid of the manner in which Jesus was coming to them. My friends and beloved, hallelujah, now consider this tonight, could God, could God be coming into our life, into our life through what appears to be a storm tonight, or a bad situation, will the Lord be working in the storm of a world war, through the storm, in the, in the storm, so that he can get closer, closer and closer, closer and closer to you, my friends, could it be, could it be the storm you think, you think will destroy you, you, and in the very thing, the very thing I will use, especially in Europe, what is happening right now, to strengthen you, to uplift you, to bless you tonight, oh my friends, take heart saints, take heart, do not be afraid, do not be afraid what is coming to this world, let us pray tonight, God can see you through, if you put your trust in him, dear Lord Jesus, my savior, my redeemer, tonight Lord, help me through the storm I'm in today, help me through the storm I'm in, uh, be with me, Lord, draw closer and closer to me, give me wisdom and knowledge, help me as I reach out uh, for your hand tonight. Uh, Help me to make right decisions. If you will, I say this, I should go through this storm. I pray that the faith will be strengthened. My faith will be strengthened. If I will go, will, will grow as I am tested by, the, by this fire, you may refine. You may refine and purify my faith tonight, dear Father. Hallelujah. May this storm develop a godly character in me, dear Father, within me, dear God, may it lead me <coughs> to discover the power of God because it's only during a storm. A storm, can I find you, oh Father? Hallelujah. And every present help, a very present help in a time of trouble. Hallelujah. Let's give her a big hand. Help me to develop my faith, Lord Jesus, so that my faith will go from one level, one level to another tonight, so that my belief in you, Lord, will go from one level to another. Oh, Father, one level to another tonight. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will open my eyes tonight and help me recognize, help me recognize the favor, the favor that I have over my life despite the storm that I face. Oh, Father, help me to focus to focus purely on Jesus Christ tonight. Help me so that I can become, I can become occupied, be occupied with all the things that will happen, but instead feel me tonight and assured with assured confidence in God of the ages, O oh Father, tonight, dear God. 
Father, tonight uh, may you always order my steps. Uh, all of my steps be good in everything I do, whatever I may go, whatever, wherever I go, and guide me, dear God, and lead me, lead me, for you are my good shepherd tonight. Hallelujah. You are my good shepherd. Your word says in Psalms 23, uh, verse 3, what does it say? He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness uh, uh, for his name's sake. Uh, oh, for his name's sake, beloved, help me to embrace tonight uh, whatever comes. Uh, my way with faith, dear God, uh, and the knowledge uh, that you are greater, greater than any storm tonight uh, and or any situation I may face, dear God. Hallelujah. Pray with me tonight. Uh, your great love uh, this, this place uh, all fear tonight. Uh, it dispels darkness. Yes, it dispels darkness. And so may your name always be praised. Be praised for much amazing love. Oh, hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, verse 13 to 46 tonight. For I am sure that neither death, neither death, nor life, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor, nor things present, nor things to come, nor things to come, nor powers, nor powers, nor heights, nor depth, nor depth, nor anything, anything else in all creation, O oh, Father, will be able to separate me tonight, will separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ. Our Lord, our Lord, says nothing can separate us as I face the storms of life. Tonight I pray for peace. I pray for peace, a supernatural, supernatural and divine peace. The God which calm my fears tonight. Oh Father, divine peace which calms my fear. I pray for a peace that will settle my troubled heart tonight. Oh Father, and allow me to place my trust the God, Holy Spirit, in you I place my trust in you tonight, Lord, with your presence tonight, oh Father, there is security, there is security, there is tranquility tonight, and peace tonight, the Father, that removes all, removes all the burdens, all the burdens with your holy, holy peace, I will be able to press on through any storm tonight, and endure, endure to the end, hallelujah, pray Praise the Lord, Father, true faith tonight. True faith tonight, I believe that you are a sovereign God. You are a sovereign God who is in control, who is in control of the world. May your Holy Spirit continue to empower me tonight to stand firm and to stand strong tonight. Dear God, hallelujah, stand strong. Comfort me tonight when I, when I falter, when I falter. I will continue to wait on you, Father, for your word says what it says. But they who wait, they who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Let's give it another big hand. They shall mount up with wings, with wings like eagles. Hallelujah. They shall run. They shall run and not be weary. Hallelujah. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Praise God. I thank you, Father, tonight, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. For holding me together each, each and every day, oh Father. Hallelujah. Whatever I have needed, you, Lord, will have been there for me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Whatever I call, whenever I call on your name, God, I have borne my cry each, each and every time I've called. Oh Father, what an assurance tonight. Come Cover me, cover me with your blood, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Dip me in the river of liquid fire. Thank you for listening to this prayer tonight. Amen. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. And what means, Lord Jesus, King Jesus, you are mighty God tonight. You are worthy to be worshipped tonight. Hallelujah. Lord, I come before you tonight, seeking strength tonight. Strengthen me. I'm seeking the strength to face the enemy in my life what I have to face I'm seeking the strength to say no to the idols that demands to be worshipped today oh father 
Father, I come in agreement with everyone listening to right now, tonight. We say that you, you are our source of strength tonight. You, you are our road to victory. Your road to victory. The enemy can, cannot outnumber us tonight. We will remain steadfast in faith because of you, Jesus Christ. The enemy can try and overwhelm us oh, tonight, Lord. But we be as your children, Lord Jesus. We will prove to be too, too strong, too strong strong for this wicked attempts oh, in Jesus name let's give a lot of big hands tonight Lord we can come under attack from the rulers from the authorities the powers of this dark world oh father but we still remain strong we still remain strong because of the blood of Jesus Christ still has the power has the power it has the wonder working power tonight hallelujah in all circumstances, Lord Jesus, tonight I thank you that we can declare Exodus 15 tonight, verse 2, what it says, that the Lord is my strength, the Lord is my strength, oh, and my soul, and he has become my salvation, hallelujah, he has become my salvation, this is my God, and I will praise him tonight, I will praise him, my Father God, and I will exalt him tonight. Hallelujah. It is you who strengthens me, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. It is you who upholds me tonight. Hallelujah. When it feels as though I'm sinking. Hallelujah. Father, it is you that will be my helper where I am falling tonight. And so, Lord, in my weaknesses tonight, I boast in your strength. I boast in your strength tonight. King Jesus, I say that you are strong. You are strong. You are mighty. You are all powerful tonight. Hallelujah. Father God, give us real strength tonight. Give us real strength. True strength tonight that comes only from you tonight. The God, give us the strength to be bold men and women of God who will not conform to the standards of this world, this sick world. We refuse to partake in the evil, in the evil in this world, immortal and sinful standards of this world. We refuse today. Father, tonight, let your words in Isaiah 12 verse 2 verse 2 says let us be true in our lives let us be true in our lives as we say behold behold god is my salvation god is my salvation i will trust and i will not be afraid i will not be afraid for the lord god is my strength and my song and he has become my salvation hallelujah praise god i'm leading on you king jesus i'm leaning on you king jesus I'm reliant on you. I'm reliant on you. I'm totally, totally and completely tonight dependent on you, the Father. You are the one who gives power to the weak tonight and strength to the powerless, the Father. Hallelujah. Although my heart may fail tonight. But you, God, you, God, are the strength of my heart. Hallelujah. And my portion, who forever, forever, all praise belongs to you, O oh Father. You, you, your word in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 through 10 tells us what it says. It says, my grace is sufficient for you. My grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. Hallelujah. Therefore, I will boast. I will boast all the more godly of my weaknesses tonight so that the power of Jesus Christ may rest upon me hallelujah for the sake of Christ Jesus then I am content with the weaknesses oh Lord in insulted in insulted hardship insulted hardship persecution and calamities oh father for when I'm weaker when I'm weaker then I'm strong give a little big hand when I'm weaker then I'm strong to my voice and say that my God, my God is capable to do exceedingly, thank you, exceedingly abundantly, abundantly above all, above all that I could ever ask or think, ask or think, I boast and say tonight, my God, my God is able to do all things. 
of all things, whatever we consider it to be possible or impossible tonight, my God can do it. My God can do it. I praise you, Lord, and I declare that my God is able. My God is able. He's able to restore broken marriages. Broken marriages. He's able to unite broken families once again. Hallelujah. My God is able to bring back love and forgiveness in a broken home, in a broken home or a bad situation. Hallelujah. I boast in your strength, Lord Jesus. In your strength today, you're, you're the mighty one, O oh Father, one who is able to crush any strongholds tonight, O oh Father, and you are the all powerful tonight, one who can displace fear tonight and brush away every unclean spirit, O oh Father. It's all about you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. It's all about you tonight, O oh Father. You're your strength, your your strength, your might, your power, your power tonight, oh Father, I will forever be strong in you, hallelujah, I will forever be able to do all things, hallelujah, through Jesus Christ, our oh Lord, who strengthens me tonight, may you receive all of my praise and honor, and honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray tonight, amen, and amen, hallelujah, tonight, I'll stop there for tonight, Night. Hallelujah. I continue tomorrow with the prayer. Hallelujah. My friends and beloved, I did not uh, forget to pray for you tonight. It has been a joy and great privilege, uh, my friends and beloved. And on the 5th of this month, uh, September, there will be a great decision in the UK. My, my, my friends and beloved, whether Rishi Sunak will be the PM or this trust, I do not know who, but whatever, whichever one, both of them are very good. This trust is a Leo born like me, and I know this Rishi Sunak is a very intelligent and strong person who can also manage as Prime Minister. My friends, let us pray, come to pray for countries and in the world. Let us pray that God guide his people. And my friends and beloved, those of you who are still in your living room, in your dining room, in your kitchen, in your car, in your office, on the street with your phone, in church, or right here today, I did not forget to pray for you. Those who are sick tonight, if you're suffering with cancer, if you're suffering with AIDS, with COVID, with diabetes, with monkeypox, a heart problem, liver problem, if you have a, a blood issue, a blood dialysis problem, if you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame, what the case may be, if you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, if you're suffering from anxiety, if you're demon possessed, if you need healing, if you have pains in all parts of the of your body, if you have art, arthritis pain, or if you're suffering from cholesterol or high cholesterol, low cholesterol, a sugar the pressure when the case may be tonight uh, my friends uh, if the doctors have given you up if you have a migraine headache, what the case may be, I'm here to tell you that God is still, Jesus Christ is still in the healing business and he can touch you and heal you tonight. Prayer is no distance tonight. I know the scripture says you must lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. But tonight I'm going to send for that anointing also because distance is no barrier with God and you will be healed. All you need tonight is a little faith as a grain of mustard seed. And if you you have faith as a grain of mustard seed tonight you're going to receive receive that healing from the hands of God and right now where you are I'm going to send for that anointing right now in the name of Jesus I send for the anointing be healed in the name of Jesus be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit I see many are healed many are saved many are delivered many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every walk of darkness let's give a hand tonight Lord Jesus, I thank you for the healings. I thank you for the deliverance. I thank you for setting the captive free. My friends, hallelujah, you will not die, but you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not finished with you as yet. Write me, text me, call me, and let me know what God has done for you because we're serving a great and mighty and awesome God in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. See you tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord.